guys, it is week two. I'm gonna give one quick rider tip for beginning riders and to check in and see where I'm at. So let's get started. I just start things off with my rider's tip of the week. And here it is. So, what's my writing device? First drafts suck. You know what? That's okay. Guys, when you sit down and write your draft, the whole point of your first draft is to get your idea down. And uh, with teaching an after school program with a lot of beginning writers, they had a hard time writing their first draft because when they go back and read through it, they're like, this doesn't sound like the books I read. No. And no author who writes their first draft sounds like the book it is in the final product. It's a first draft. They're supposed to suck. The main purpose of the first draft, like I said earlier, is to get your idea down. That's the most important thing. You can't edit what's not there. So regardless if you're a plotter or a discovery writer, and a discovery writer is this one who does not plot and plan, they sit down and write, it doesn't matter. Your first draft is going to suck. It won't sound like how you want it to at the very end. But the great thing is, once you finish your first draft, you're able to go back, edit it, revise it, rewrite it if you need to certain chapters. That's okay because then you have your idea down, you know what you want to do and what you want to accomplish and so you can fix it. And then when you get done, then you'll have that final part of that dream that you want to have. But you can't get there without your first draft. My first draft sucked. I had to rewrite it, revise it, move chapters around. But you know what guys, it's okay. I had exactly like 20 different chapters written from five different point of views, okay? And I had to cut off five point of views. They were from side characters. Was that a waste of time? No, it wasn't. I was able to tell the story and flesh out those side characters to make them, to make them who they are in the book. I was able to see different sides of the world that I need to know what was going on to better portray what's happening. If you have a character in your story that suffered some great tragedy, it's a side character, right? And let's say somebody died and he's super depressed. Well, your main character is going to see them depressed and they may not know why they have to figure it out, but you do. And you know what that character is feeling because you've had those chapters to flesh them out. And that's the point, guys. Writing is a big process, whether if you plot all your plot every chapter out, you know exactly what you're going to do, or if you're a discovery writer and you sit down and just say, okay, this is what I'm feeling today, this is what I'm going to write. That's fine. It doesn't matter. No chapter, no matter how bad it is, or even if you cut that chapter, is a waste of time. It helps you develop your story. Okay, so that's my writing tip today. First draft suck, but it's okay. Guys, remember, you cannot get your final product unless you get those first draft down. No matter how bad it is or how bad that chapter is, you're like, what was I thinking? It's okay. It's important. You can't get it done without completing the very first step. You need the first draft so you can edit it. So that's it. Guys, get those first drafts done. All right? And now for me to check in and tell you where I'm at on my writing process. So how have I done? Have I reached my goals this week? Well guys, I've done pretty good. I have currently 14,055 words. Yes, it has been one tough week. I've gotten up, wrote all day, and pretty much went to bed. Maybe give myself one or two breaks throughout the day. It has been tough, but well worth it. So now all I need left is 5,945 words to reach my 20,000 word goal. Now, I do believe this book, Episodes 3 The Rebels, will end up being over 20,000. I wouldn't be surprised if it got to close to 25,000 words. To go along with this week's theme, that first draft suck, I want to lay to you some things that I've done to change my first draft to help improve it. And also, I'll give you guys some little details that I've done for Episode 3 The Rebels. So what have I done for my, my, my big first draft? Well, I said in my previous video how to make a lot of beginnings and endings that weren't originally there, which was kind of difficult. I also had to add subplots because each novella has to have something being accomplished so it would feel like the readers are were accomplishing something. I could just have it where everything is like, well, okay, we're not there yet, we're not there yet, we're not there yet, and nothing being accomplished, and the story doesn't feel like it's moving forward or we're achieving anything. So I had to add these subplots and have these plots, these things be accomplished while also the characters are still moving forward in the story to complete their main goal. 
Maybe. We'll complete it. We'll have to see. So, what have I done for episode three, The Rebels? In The Rebels, like I said originally, my my main draft have five point of views. Well, something really important happens from the point of view of Sarah. Well, Sarah does not have a point of view in my book anymore. But what happened to her is still important. And I need it to help explain what happens and trigger these huge events that happen in later in my series. So what what do I do? Here comes the handy tool of rewriting it, changing what happens when your main character figures out. Even though my main character wasn't there, she can still figure out what's going on. So I rewrote these chapters to have her muddle and figure out and have these new scenes happen where she figures out what's going on. So the key events still happen in my story, but they happen from my main character's point of view, which actually so much better, so much better. These scenes help my character grow and become stronger. When she really starts out as just a minor and become a weak character to become this strong character. And she's becoming stronger and stronger as the story progresses. But if I didn't have that scene that I just wrote, y'all wouldn't know. So I'm actually really excited. And guys, when you go back from your first draft and you just look at it you're like, wow, it just sucks. Remember, that's okay. When you do your rewrites, you know what you're wanting to achieve. You know what you're going to accomplish. Like, I knew this scene that happened to this character still had to happen in my story to be important. But, <laughs> my husband's coming home. He's my dog's barking. But, it, it wasn't the point of view I was telling. So, I still had to portray it. Well, I knew what I wanted to accomplish. I just had to do it from a different point of view. And I was able to get to that end goal because I knew it was going to happen, I just had to rewrite it. And it wasn't a big deal. Rewrites, revisions, cutting, not a big deal. That's the key to editing. And that's something you're going to do a lot when you get your editing process. And you have to not be as scared of it because it's yeah, that part is important. And maybe I'll do some thoughts about how to edit and what to do, revise and things. But the biggest thing, biggest, biggest, biggest thing. First draft, you got to get it done, guys. It has to be done. Okay guys, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. If you want to check out The Freaks Episode 1, The Guardian, Episode 2, The Messenger, I'll leave links down below. If you want to see what The Freaks are all about, I have the first three chapters of The Guardian on my blog. The link will also be down below. Alright guys, have a great weekend and keep writing. Bye! She says, right. <laughs>